To the ones who criticize my generation, who do you think you are speaking to? Every moment you criticize that smartphone in that teenage girl's hand, you're missing the calluses she earned from gripping it too hard at her torn family's reunion. You can tug that boy's earbud out, but you can't stop him from hearing his father tell him to be a man. You can keep making fun of the filters on selfies, but we're just trying to hide the spit stains the world left on our war-torn cheeks. You tell us to mind our own business, but... Huh, Vietnam and Iraq are different, right? Keep telling us how mindless we are as we walk in the front door after an eight hour school day and go sit in our rooms begging for distraction from the next four hours of homework calling our Twitter handle. Twitter is useless. What's useless is you telling 16 year olds that get told they're useless every day that even their thoughts aren't valuable. Oh yes, this is the generation that needs every one of their actions validated because their parents sure as hell aren't going to do it. They failed that test because the weight of their whole life kept making their head spin. The alphabet goes A, B, C, D, and the rest wasn't on the bubble sheet. The grade is the important part because we can show that to our parents to get the nod we always wanted or get grounded for that B in AP Calculus. Friendly reminder that when I scroll down my Tumblr page, at least 20 posts consist of the meaning you are important because you are the ones who tell them they're not. You don't get to feed your children candy then ask why they don't have better self-control. You don't get to buy a 15 year old girl booty shorts then call her a slut for loving her body. You don't get to bully children just because you passed the age of 17. You don't get to tell a child to suck it up because you had it worse. No. You are speaking to the generation that collapses every day and is left to pick themselves up. You are talking to the generation that loves booty shorts and selfies because maybe you telling us they're stupid makes us relate to them a little more. You are talking to the generation that you scared into dividing themselves into a home life and a school life because one is more important. You are talking to the generation that gets made fun of by more adults than children. You are talking to your children. You are talking to your grandchildren, your stepchildren, your nieces and nephews. Look them in the eyes and tell them they are stupid and petty and greedy and sinful without trying to sound too much like your parents. Can't do it? Then stop saying it to 16 year olds who will start believing you. Stop making kids think hiding in their closet is okay because it's safer than the living room. We're going to inherit the world tomorrow. But I guess I should thank you too for making the world be one we want to change. Woo!